Okay, it's Friday, May 29. We're over here at Bethany this morning, and this time we're gonna try same setup we used over there at Duck Creek. So that two weight um, discount switch rod along with that foam grasshopper. We'll see how it does here at Bethany. Okay, so here we are. There's that foam grasshopper in the size four. Let's get situated here and see if we can get ourselves a bass or two. Got him. Bass. All right, first fish of the day from Grasshopper on the bass. All right, good way to start the morning on a Friday. Nice. Okay, so uh, we switched to a smaller Grasshopper right here. I'm gonna hopefully target uh, some of these fish that are nearby. We actually see a bass here. Let's try for this bass real quick and see if they'll go for it. Oh yeah, we got bluegill here. Nice bluegill. All right, got beds of bluegill going. Might switch up the lot, the rod here in a moment, or the fly. Place up with somebody's bluegill. There's one looking at it. They got him. <laughs> Chased it. Little bass, I think. Yep, little bass. All right. Oh, lost him. Okay, so uh, went back to the casa and made some adjustments from this morning. It's now the afternoon, about five something. And we made a different fly, a little bit smaller, more like a damsel fly. So we plan on letting it sink into the bed and hopefully we'll get some of those bluegill that were giving us a hard time this morning. So wish us luck. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and pull out the old Tinkara rod, or actually it's the new Tinkara rod from Tinkara USA. It's one we've been out here before and have used and we really like it. I'm just go and get it deployed here shortly. And let's give it a shot. Here's that uh, damsel fly right here. There it is. Very simple one with some rubber legs just to give it a little fishiness. Let's see how it goes. All right. Uh, you can definitely see some open areas where the fish are, right where they've made their nests. There's those bluegill that we were seeing earlier, as well as looks like there's a bass or two in there. And this round we brought the Tinkara rod. And let's see if we can let's see if we can get ourselves a fishy here. Alright. Earlier we were getting hits, but they were short striking. There's one looking at it. Getting it down to the bed this time, so that give them something to attack, hopefully. There's the hit. All right, nice size one. All right, so figure it out. Use a smaller fly. We were getting those short strikes earlier. So this time, no short strikes. Nice size bluegill. Looks pretty dang good. Oh yeah. So even though it's a nice size one, <laughs> we were getting those short strikes on those bluegill. Got a lot of beds here. You can see it where it's uh, lighter in the water. Uh, it looks like a bass over here. Actually, no, it looks like a bluegill. Let me just see if I can get it right in the bed. There he goes. Little guy. Not like the big guys that were there, but that'll work. All right, damselfly. So this morning we're using that foam grasshopper. Got a couple of bass. This round, the old damsel fly. Working it on blue gale. This a little one. All right, we see some more cleared areas. Possibly uh, bass, possibly bluegill. Let's see. We may switch to a grasshopper. In a moment though. 
Let's see if we can get one to hit over here. There we go. Little bass. Bass. Let's go take it back around here. Little bass. Mm -hmm. All right. Little bass. Cool beans. All right. I got a bass on that one. Let's see if we get another guy to hit over here. Right over here where the uh, water goes into the feeder creek or the canal. All right. I'm just kind of. Flip it over and see if we can get one to take. All right, there's three bass kind of hovering over here. Let me see if we can get them to hit. Kind of want it on the bottom, it looks like. So just let them hit on the bottom. Nope. Okay, let's do a foam grasshopper. It's like a size 10 hook. Maybe we might get those smaller guys to hit. Missed him. Got him. Got him finally. All right. Whew. That one took his time to hit too. Okay. All right. Finally got one of these foam grasshopper. They're on their beds. All right. We see some over here by the drainage deal. Maybe we can get one to hit. Eh, the bass looked at it. He's protecting his bed, it looks like. All right. All right. Nice bluegill. Pretty. All right. Let's see if we can get another one of these guys. We can see the school or the bed of them. There we go. Oh, ah, lost them. Do it again. Got him. All right. Got to get it here. Another nice size one. Right, blue golly, foam grasshopper. Let's do it again. Maybe. Looking at it. Got him. Just kind of scooped under it. Scooped it. All right, scooped city. They're fatty. Very nice. All right, that was on the uh, foam grasshopper. I'm gonna try one more cast here, and then we're gonna switch over to back to that damsel fly and see if we can get them to hit. Oh, because they don't seem to be wanting to really hit on top, but that slow presentation is really helping them. So we're not sure. Maybe we'll stick with this. Maybe we'll switch. See, just see if we can get one more. Got him. Oh, there we go. That uh, one's a bass. All right. Felt different. Felt different. El bass. Got a bass. Not bad. On Tinkara. Well, let's uh, let's stick with this grasshopper just a little bit longer. Oh, another hit. Grasshopper's starting to sink, so we can probably fish it like that damselfly. There's the hit. 
He's a fatty. Oh. Well, lost that guy. He was nice too. Full orange and everything. Gotcha. All right, got him. Let's just move over here when we get clear open bend in the rod. This is the guy that uh, we are having a hard time with. All right, come on. Big orangey one. Look at this, orangey. 